Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel, and today we're going to take a look how to get gold snipers fast, and also how to get easy blood first through the snipers. I know a lot of people want like, a new updated video of the one that I've done previously, and people want to know how to do more blood first, it's a lot easier. So I'm going to show you that exactly today, I'm going to show you both of them methods, but quickly before we do jump into the video guys, if you are new around here, be sure to subscribe and notifications turned on, I'm on to 6k subs, as fast as possible guys really, if you can help me hit that, that'd be absolutely amazing. If you do enjoy the video, smash a thumbs up, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below, how close are you to gold snipers, are you going for any gold snipers, are you going for diamond snipers, or are you going for dark matter in general? let me know in the comments below and i'm jumping straight into the video for you guys so guys as of right now sniping is just so easy to get done snipers are st stupidly easy to get done and the reason for this is the snipers only mosh pit i don't know how long this is going to stick around to it might only be here till f uh, tuesday when the playlist update comes around but i'm not too sure uh but i would definitely definitely make the most of this whilst it is still out guys jump on and it's going to make bloodthirsties nice and easily. I'm going to show you guys how I'd play to get bloodthirsties if I'm not too, if I wasn't as good as what I am, if that makes sense. If I'm like a lower skilled player, I'd show you guys exactly how I would play to get bloodthirsties. Also, it's just going to be a lot easier to get kills with and a lot easier to get more score streaks with and just different camos in general due to the fact that everyone is using snipers and snipers only. So basically what snipers only is, guys, is as you go into it, all you can use is snipers. There's no lethals, no tacticals, no pistols, no launchers, none of that sort of stuff. It is purely just snipers only, which means you're only coming up against other snipers, which in theory is going to make your life a lot easier. Like I said, I'm going to jump into a game right now and show you guys how to play for bloodthirsties and just how to play for like double kills and things like that. So it's going to make your lives a lot easier. Right guys, so as you can see, we're loaded into a game of Garrison right now. Snipers only domination, which is exactly what we want. This is actually a really fun game mode to play outside of going for camos and um, getting, like, getting like, gun levels up and things like that. It's just actually a really fun game mode to play. I've been playing a lot of it on stream. Again, if you want to follow me on stream, twitch.tv forward slash harry7emp. Link will be in my description. As you can see, uh, everything is blocked out apart from the snipers. I run the dual sniper class because I like to try and hit them nasty clips. Now, so when it comes to bloodthirsties... Especially on a map like Garrison, just sit at the back of the map. You know, pick off people as a. Uh, you've got a couple people on the bridge there. If you can get both of them, that's a nice, easy double kill. You've got, you know, one's up there because one's just been clarted, so you're gonna, you can hard scope it, play. Don't play as if you need to get impressive clips with this because that's not the whole point. I can't even get a shot right now. I haven't played all day, so, you know, I'm gonna let myself off. But literally, guys, just play slow, you know, play it like I am, or just play it like he is. If he, like, like he, play, the way he's playing is a perfect example of what to do and just play it slowly hold down that area get a, get a line of sight where you can just see a good area of the map where a lot of people are running down um somewhere like garrison maybe you might want to jump over to this left hand side more towards the offices so when people play to the back side of the map it's going to be nice and easy to pick them off but as you guys could see like in terms of double kills and things like that there was two on the bridge if um once my shots a bit more warmed up i could hard scope it i could definitely get a double kill there with no problem at all be nice and easy um but yeah, like I say, just play it slower, guys. Just genuinely play to your play to your like strengths, what you guys are good at in a game. If you're a good player, you'll be okay just to run around. Wow, have I missed that? You'll be you'll be alright to just run around and just like get easy kills and just you know get them blood firsts, get double kills. But for someone that's a lot less good at the game, if that makes sense, like someone who's not so good at the game, play it exactly like this guy is right here. Just hard scoping into his opponent's spawn. He knows they're going to be spawning in there. He knows he needs probably bloodthirsties, I'm assuming, because he's not got gold or diamond. He probably needs bloodthirsties. The way he's played there, it's a, he's picked up a double kill. He's on a free streak. He'll probably get another two there for a bloodthirsty. So it's exactly, it's a perfect example in that player of the game, how you want to play. Just hold down that one area. Yes, people are going to know where you are. So just ever so slightly move around. Like you would have seen he was on different side of the bridges. He might have been in the middle, then the left, then the right. Like every two kills, he'd rotate out with that one position to make it easier for himself so people don't know quite exactly where he is but then you like here guys you've got this little little um spot where you can just see the entire like mid map really anyone comes up on that bridge and they're gonna die please tell me how it's not clarked him why can't i snipe today there you go but as you can see like, this is what i mean you can just sort of sit down there's a double kill for you you're gonna get that one i'm not even gonna get that one well but this is it, guys. Like, literally, play it this slowly. Like, people now sort of know where I am, which is fine, because they're going to start playing into, like, positions where they think they're going to have advantage over me. But because I've got the hard scope down, that as soon as they come into sights, the chances are they're going to get killed. So, like I say, play slowly. Like, yes, it is campy play style. It, is, it, isn't, it isn't the most fun way to play. But, like, as you guys can see, I've got a free streak there. Okay, I probably should have moved after that free streak, to be honest, because I was just in too obvious of a position. I mean, bloody Pomada's in the game, so it's what it is. But, like I say, just play slowly. This is literally the best method that I can give you guys. Like, it's the biggest tip that I've got for anyone that's trying to get blood first with snipers right now. Is just play slowly. So, unless you're a really good player, guys, don't feel like you want to sit around just hard uh, quick scoping everyone. Like, you don't need to play that way. Unless you're, like I say, someone who's good at the game, very confident in their gunfights, very confident they can get five kill streaks in a row. 
But the reason I'm telling you to play snipers only is because, yeah, you're going to come up against people that are good at sniping, but you're also going to come up against people that are just like bang average at sniping and they're not they're not amazing. And like I'm saying, play slowly, play an area where you can hold down. You're playing snipers only, so you're not going to get boomed by an AR if you get into the open. You might get sniped, but they're going to have one shot, then you'll be knowing if you're being sniped at. So genuinely, guys, just play slow. Let people come to you. Play them areas that you know you can see a good portion of the map where they're going to be running through to. And uh, yeah, it should make it a lot easier for you guys that are struggling to get them bloodthirsty to end up getting them in. Also, guys, remember you are going to get a nice rotation of maps as well. Like sometimes you you you're, you might get maps like um, satellite, which is re really really easy to get bloodthirsties on because with snipers everyone wants to play them sand dunes on the outside. You know you're going to get a nice amount of kills there if you just position yourself well. So if you can position yourself well on a lot of the maps, you're going to get a lot of bloodthirsties and become a lot easier than uh, what it was before. So if, you, if you've already got some Bloodthirsties, you guys will know how you need to play for the Bloodthirsties. You, you sort of know your strengths and um, sort of just carry on playing like that. Don't change your play style at all. But, but just remember, because you are playing Snipers only, it's going to make it a bit easier for you due to the fact that there's no ARs in the game. You're not going to get beamed from like just so far away from someone with an AR or an SMG or something like that. You just know you're like, up against Snipers and Snipers only. He made a really weird movement there. So yeah, I know I do keep repeating myself, but in terms of double kills and bloodthirsties, which is what everyone seems to be struggling with, I, I've got so many messages on my other how to get gold snipers fast. If you want to know any more tips on how to get gold snipers fast, I will leave that video in the info card above, which will go through all camos and like the best way to play for each camo. I just wanted to make this video to cover like bloodthirsties and double kills, because the amount of comments I get on that video is still just saying, how can I get easier bloodthirsties? How can I get easier double kills? This is sort of what I wanted to make the video on. Like, Just watch the areas where there are a couple of people. Like you know, in that first round, the bridge was where there was a couple of people. So I know there's one down here as well, if no one's killed them. So there we go. It could have been a double kill if that one was still there, which they're not now, but it doesn't really make a difference because I'm sort of looking into their spawn. I might be able to get another pick off here for a double kill, which I may well have done, but yeah, he just dipped into cover. So I know there's another one there. I'm going to keep watching it for them double kills. I'm not going to let it rotate out. I'm going to, you know what I mean? Just watch the watch the areas where you know there's people pushing through. Get the double kills. Like I said, if there was someone on that bridge again, try and pick that one. Move yourself. Try and pick that one. You know what I'm saying? That's a nice, easy double kill. You get a fair amount of time for double kills with snipers, especially with being one shot. It sort of takes away from the, the bit of the time where, like, normally you'd be shooting more bullets. So, um, like I said, play it slowly. Let people come to you. Hold them areas down. Get yourself into a nice little vantage spot where you can see the entire the entire map or a good path of the map where you know a lot of people are running through. And just genuinely play it slowly, guys. Like, I know I do keep repeating myself, but I'm trying to give you guys the best tips to get the blood first and double kills fast. And to be honest, that is the best method of doing it. Just play it slowly. Let people come to you. Watch them areas where people are running through to. And just genuinely play it slowly like I say if you've got blood thirsties before carry on playing that exact same way don't change it up play the exact way you have been getting blood thirsties it's just gonna make it a ton easier because you are playing snipers only and like I say guys the biggest tips for me stay where you are hold it down um, just watch them areas where you know a lot of people are and play snipers only the reason is, is like look at this guy yes okay he's a good sniper don't get me wrong that's absolutely insane little clip from him for that player to get Incre incredible play but if you can put something together like that, it's one, it's easy double kills. He probably got two double kills in there, maybe three. Um, and then he also got the blood first on top of that as well, which is going to be a nice amount of cameras for him done. And that's exactly how you want to play it, guys. Just genuinely play it like that. Hold down them areas. Get in an area where you can see a good ending part of their spawn. You know, get them double kills in, get the blood first he's in. Hopefully this video has helped you out. Again, if there's any more questions that you guys have, please feel free to let me know in the comments below and I will do my very, very best to answer them as soon as possible for you guys. I will give you the best tips that I can in the comments if you're still struggling with anything else. Like I say, if you're someone who's not so good at the game, play it very slowly. Let people run to you. Just hold down that area. You know, slightly move it about. You saw when I was stood on the tank, I got a nice easy free kills. But because I stayed in the same position, people started to know where I was. So I should have rotated to a different area after them three kills to get the other two kills. However, I didn't do that. And that's exactly why you should do that because you're going to get picked off. So make sure you are rotating when you do get killed or when you do get a couple of kills, sorry. And then just make sure you're doing that. Hope this video has helped you out. If it has, smash the thumbs up. Like I say, let me know any more questions in the comments below. And I will do my very, very best to answer it for you guys. If you haven't already, subscribed to the channel notifications turned on. And make sure you do follow me on Twitch. I stream pretty much every single day right now. Twitch.tv forward slash Harry17P. Links are in my description along with all my other social medias. I appreciate you watching the way to the end. And we'll catch you next one in a bit.